Hell yeah. Yo, cuss by Reggie. Hold on real quick. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Like, thumbs up, thumbs down. All the good stuff. Share and all the good stuff, right? So this video is just a quick, as y'all can see, I'm at the crib. Different scenery than you used to when I'm doing my reviews and unboxes and stuff. But I just want to tell y'all how it was at the Tennessee Barber Expo. The Tennessee Barber Expo was actually yesterday. I'm shooting this on the 25th. The Barber Expo was um, on the 24th, Sunday down here in Knoxville. Put on by Tyler Trotter, Clean Cuts, The One, and hosted by Jay Majors, right? Shout out to y'all. Put on a great show. It was sponsored by Tune 45, Wall, Caliber, a few other companies, right? This was my second time actually setting up a booth. My first time was at the MLB trade show in Nashville um, earlier this year, or was it last year? I don't even remember. But it's my second time setting up a uh, setting up a booth at a trade show. All right, so I make a product called Crown, which is a beard product line. It got I got some wave products. I actually released two two new products. Uh, on the day of the show, which is my mousse and my um, anti-itch and growth oil, which did great, right? So, of course, the day before, I got cleaned up. I was waiting to get a haircut, so if y'all saw, if y'all saw videos before, although I'm not super clean all the time, I had to wait to get me a clean up until the day of the show. There was a pre-party the night before. I did not make it to. I worked that morning, got off, went and set up my booth, on the Saturday, the day before the show. After my day, I was tired, didn't go to the pre-party, but I'm pretty sure y'all had a great time. Sunday morning, woke up, went and did some uh, finishing up my setup, went to some great classes. So they had four different shows. Uh, you uh, was able to see uh, some cuts. You was able to get some words of wisdom from Bazio, from, uh, from everybody really. But Marcus Harvey and uh, Chris, they set up their sites as really just a conversational piece while on the other hand jason and uh the wild support uh sponsors they were um cutting but anyway went to the show great show i'm telling you when i say i appreciate everybody who came through whether you came to the booth and bought anything or you just come to say what's up uh telling me you support the brand the videos Instagram, I appreciate every single part of it. It was nice to be able to meet some people. Um, I like walking around at barber shows, so when I set up, I'm, I'm glad to have my wife there. My wife is a great help to me, but I'm glad to have her there, so I'm able to step off for a second and walk around. Um, so that's what I did, you know what I mean? I was go through a few things I got. Yusuf was there. Uh, selling his one plug multi clipper charger. I've been waiting to, excuse me. He been selling these on his website. I didn't want to buy it from the website. I wanted to grab it from his hand and uh, tell him I support everything he's doing. So along with the the uh, six box charge, uh, six box uh, charger that I bought from Crazy Good, who was also at the show. I also wanted to give this a try and we'll get into both of those the the six box charger and this one in a later video uh, dope phase was there they're always at the shows it's always good to talk to them they are very supportive very game giving like they 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 don't mind teaching you helping you out with anything you may need especially when it comes to these trade shows i bought some hoodies from them uh i don't have a hoodie here that i got because i wore it to the gym right when I got it, got home, went to the gym. It was cool, right? Straight, no problem. Um, my man Taylor May was there, bought some body butter from him. He's always good to talk to, very supportive. He done came down to the shop a couple times. We done chatted it up. He was actually at uh, one of my classes that I had here in Knoxville at the barbershop. So that was good. Um, I mean, everything was good. I sold out of one of my products. Uh, to the day of the show, I released two new products, the mousse and the growth oil. Sold out of all my mousse. I bought 20, I brought 20 of them with me. Didn't know how it would go. Sold out, very appreciative to everybody. All right. Um, while I was so setting up a booth, I also bought a VIP ticket. 
which the VIP ticket gives you a swag bag. So I don't know everything that's in this swag bag, but we're gonna go through. I know the main thing that I knew was gonna be in there. Not, she always wanna talk to me. I didn't know what brand it was gonna be, but there was said that there was gonna be a clipper in there. So this is a corded clipper from Red Pro, Titan Clipper. We're gonna give this a go. It is a corded clipper, two year warranty. It is a corded clipper, so we're gonna see. You see the build, it's almost like a, uh, almost like the power rod a little bit, but we're gonna get a feel of that and see if it cuts like a power rod or anything close to it. it has a, had a little brush in there from, from Taylor Perry. All right. This is what I, I, I really want to try out though. I have seen this. This is from uh, Red Premium. This is a curl sponge, right? But if you use the regular sponge, you know how dirty it can get. It's hard to clean. You're gonna use it a few times. You're gonna end up throwing it away. And if you don't, you're just gonna wear it down to the end. So either you'll use the, the uh, tennis racket one, which I can't think of the name, or boom, you can try this with Bow Wow on the front. It's sponsored by Bow Wow. But as you can see, I don't know how it performs, but as you can see, it's uh, gonna be easy to clean with that plastic or uh, yeah, it's very hard. But we're gonna see how that works. They have some shaving gel in there, 245 shaving gel. We're just gonna go through this real quick. Some moisture, something from K Millet, K Millet Shears, they was there as well. Some Bow Wow do rags, a cake from Babeless, some extra combs. We can always use some extra combs. Uh, da, 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 da. That's pretty much it. Just a few extra things. This is a, a brush little curve brush also with bow wow he he doesn't have waves and the curl spoon so that's cool and then we have some fresh pack of wipes wipe the hair down after you're done with your client but all in all man i just wanted to say i was very appreciative appreciative of everything i also got the i also got to judge one of my first uh competitions they uh asked me to uh, judge the um the uh, design competition, which everybody was up there doing their thing. It was fun to be up on stage with Jason, my homeboy, Blurry Barber, Marcus Harvey was up there, Tyler, Jay Major, shout out to everybody that was on the stage, all the competitors. It was, it was, it was a great feeling to be part of something that's in this city. Usually, we have to go around, we have to go to Atlanta, get to the shows. We have to go to Nashville. So we have to move around a little bit. This is the second time that this one was here. Something this big in the, for the barber industry was here. So it was good to be a part of it. Not only as setting up my own booth, but as far as walking around and judging a competition. You get what I'm saying? So that was a, a great feeling to do. I walked around there with Al, Al's Millions. Al, Al's Millions was there. Um, 245 set up. We had uh, the uh, mobile barber uh, dugout, mobile barbering. I put his Instagram here. I like meeting him because what he does, he has his mobile barbering. He told me he don't even make a dollar off of doing this barbering. He drives around, cuts homeless, he cuts kids, he cuts everybody for free in this mobile barber. He's from New Jersey. That was good talking to him. Uh, shout out to Caliber. J1 was there. Always good to talk to J1, always. Um, yeah, so I just wanna say thank you. And the booth was set up for people to, you know, kind of scan and subscribe and follow. So if you a new subscriber from talking to me at the show, thank you for subscribing. Or if you just checking out the channel because you see me at the show. Hey, how you doing? It's not usually like this in the background, so. You won't have to see my tree and stuff in the background too much often in my Christmas or my Thanksgiving wreath on the door. You can't even see it. But anyway, it was a good feeling, man, talking to everybody, seeing everybody, shaking hands, making friends, uh, the connections. Shout out to Rick the Barber. I am Rick the Barber. Good to meet these people. I was able to talk to Sean Cuts, her as well. Great to talk to. He was telling me about his move, uh, you know, opening up his new barbershop, uh, which was cool. I didn't buy too much. Luckily, I'm on the end of, I'm able to, I've been buying stuff already. 
So I didn't really spend as much as I would usually at a trade show. And you know, since people send me things now, I didn't have to say, I did want to buy something. I mean, I bought the uh, the uh, charger, but I did, I, I in my mind, I wanted to spend. I wanted to buy something. I wanted to see something that I don't have. You get what I'm saying? I like going to shows to do that. As y'all know, I have an addiction with clippers and trimmers and products anyway. Excuse me. So I did actually want to buy something, but it was all good. All in all, man, it was a great show. Great meeting everybody. I want to give a thank you to my beautiful wife, my queen, my rock. She was there. She was helping me. She made sure I ate. She was getting me some waters. She was helping me when I wanted to run away and walk around a little bit. Um, the goal of the goal for next year for me is to make it to more trade shows. Not necessarily to set up my own booth, but just to be in the in the industry a bit more. All right. So I'm going to try to make it to CT next year. I know Rum Barber going to be at CT. So I'm definitely going to try to make it to there. And I think my guy Tank be chopping said he might try to make it to CT. So, I mean, that's the, that's the big boy. That's the Grammys. <laughs> so I want to try to make it there. Uh, I want to try to make it to the Orlando premiere. Of course, I'm going to be at the Tennessee Barber Expo if they have it next year. So that's my goal for next year. So, Maybe you'll, you know, run into me somewhere. Maybe not. I don't know. All in all, this video was just to say I had a great time setting up, judging, meeting Jay, meeting Marcus, meeting Jason, talking to my local barbers that's in the area. Shout out to Oh He Be Chopping, Oh He Cutting Up. There you go. Oh He Cutting Up. Shout out to Marley. Shout out to everybody who came through. West Coast. Appreciate you. Into my OG Yogi, he stepped in. He worked with me at Diamond Cut. He came in, said what's up. Always a pleasure, man. So, all in all, it was a good show. All in all. I had to set up, set my product, and now I'm just rambling on, on what I did. But it was good, man. I actually sold out of a product and almost sold out of my growth oil. So, my two best sellers for the day was my two newest products. Can't be mad at that. I appreciate everybody who subscribed. I appreciate everybody who stopped booth, uh, stopped by the booth. I put a video on how my booth looked. I had my YouTube videos in the back, scan codes. It was it was cool, man. So shout out to everybody who came through. Thank you to all who just stopped into Knoxville. Even if I wasn't able to catch up with you and talk to you, thank y'all for just being in Knoxville to uh, help this situation grow. All right. Shout out to Tyler. Shout out to Jay Majors for putting on a great show. Um, yeah, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I have more unboxes and stuff coming soon. Uh, more reviews coming. If y'all, if y'all been, if y'all noticed, I haven't been, uh, uh, responding back to my comments as much as I usually do. I just been busy with trying to get all of this together. Uh, but now that this is out the way, we back, try to get my schedule back on track. Um, uh, so yeah, stay tuned. More to come. As always, peace.